This is the finish spinner and it's going round and around and around and if it fucking falls on the floor you have to go and pick it back up. Distract yourself from school work if you're writing something down and then you have to go pick it up, come back to your seat and maybe possibly forget down what you were just writing. And you want to tell me it's not a fucking distraction. Uh, like I am done. Goodbye if you think it's not a distraction. Hi guys, it's Van Alex and I'm doing a fidget spinner ramp and why I think they're actually like worse and they are better or they why they do bad and they do good. Okay. So if you're gonna be offended and like don't watch this video, like why are you here? Like you cooked on it, you chose to cook on it, you chose to get offended if that's sake and not given. But anyways, that's a whole other thing on its own. So I'm just gonna get on with the video. Okay, so here's why I think they're bad, okay? Like people who have ADHD or anxiety, they need it right, but like when you have something that's in your hand constantly, that's what you focus on. So your eyes are like here. And if it falls on the ground, you're attracted to the ground and go pick it up. Like, I know that's natural for the most part, but like, it's still a distraction. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just doesn't disregard it as not a distraction because it still is. Like, literally, there's some Butterfingers and candy in here, right? So, like, I'll just throw this on my window, so... But I have to look at it to get it, and then I have to pick it back up and spin it around again. You see what I'm saying? It's the same thing, you know? Like, I don't know... And then, like, they're like, well, it helps you. Well, I'm like, I don't think it does. And then here's another reason it's a distraction. The other kids in the class who don't have one or maybe who don't want one, they are getting distracted by you spinning it around over and over again. And they're getting distracted by, like, seeing it on the floor. Like, when you spun it out of your hands, it spun on the floor. And then they, the other person who doesn't have one saw that. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it's not good. Like, I don't know. Like... I don't like them, I don't have one. I've played with one in a restaurant before, but I don't really like them. I wouldn't buy one. I think they're a waste of money. Five bucks for a piece of plastic, too. Like, really? Like, what? Like, what? Literally, I got, like, a whole bag of candy for, like, two bucks. And then here we are paying five dollars for one little fidget spinner thing. Like, no, bitch. No, that's not how I work. Yes, it's, like, two days later, but hey, I'm a pro YouTuber, if you can tell. But um, I think people want the fidget spinners because they're like the new trend and like everyone has them. So they're like picking up on the trend and they're picking up on the bandwagon and then they're getting their kids one and their kids are getting their kids one and their families are getting their families one their best friends are getting their best friends and their best friends are getting their fucking aunts, moms, parent one. Like I honestly like kids stay in them and how like useless they are. And, like you literally are like so distracted by a fucking $5 piece of plastic that you really spend money and that you could literally... But like, buy a water bottle with that, buy a pack of gum with that, buy a candy bar with that. And like, I think they should be banned from schools. I think they should be banned from everywhere. I don't even think they should be sold anywhere. Like, they don't help you. How do they help you? Like, how does a little fucking piece of plastic that goes round and around in a circle that you keep controlling with your hand help you? I don't fucking get it. I don't understand it. Like, I can't comprehend it through this tiny little nutshell brain. Of, like, how it helps you. And, like, I literally think it's a waste of money. Like, you're spending $5 for a piece of fucking plastic. Like, what the fuck is wrong with this damn world, bitches? Like, what the fuck? Like, you have no self-control, and that's, like, saddening to me because, like, literally what you're doing is, like, this is a fitness spinner, and it's going round and around and around, and if it fucking falls on the floor, you have to go and pick it back up, distract yourself from school work if you're writing something down, and then you have to go pick it up, come back to your seat, and maybe possibly forget down what you were just writing, and you want to tell me it's not a fucking distraction. Uh, like, I am done. Goodbye, if you think it's not a distraction. Because that's a fucking distraction, bitch. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, I'm Tom and I got a new fidget spinner. Guys, I'm so fucking cool. Come be my best friend, please. Like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's not a distraction, but I can't like, I can like, if it falls on the floor, I have to go get it. It's not a distraction though, right? Because I was doing something else right, but it's not fucking a distraction, right? Because I have to go get it from the floor, right? So it's not a distraction, is it? Nope, clearly not. I don't know about you, but I want to spend my $3 or $5 or $7 on like a pack of gum or some candy or some Smarties. What the fuck? Why would you spend it on a piece of plastic? Like, I don't get it. Like, I don't get it. It's so overpriced. I would make it like 25 cents. But like, no, people want their money. And this is a new damn trend. And everybody's getting one because everybody fucking loves them. I literally saw a video going around Twitter last week. And it's like, I'm proud of this other video of doing your fidget spinners shit. I'm like, oh my gosh. What the fuck? Nobody gives a fuck. Like, I fucking hate them so much. Like, they just get me so enraged and so pissed off because I can't stand them. Like, I honestly don't know why their kids would buy them. Like, I would ban them from schools if I was their teachers. I would say no, none of this shit is a lot of my class because it's a fucking distraction. And if you think otherwise, it just shows you're part of the problem. So, like... <laughs>
Like, it's really like you're staring at a video game and like, there's a fidget spinner. I'm sure those damn kids would download it and they're just like, oh, going around and around. Like, press here to push it this way. Press there to push it this way. Like, it's a fucking distraction. If you think otherwise, fuck you. You're part of the problem. Then. But yes, guys, that is the end of my fidget spinner rant. I will be doing a school rant very shortly. But until next time, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Please do that because it really helps me out a lot. Follow me on all my social media and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.